Oh, what is going on, everybody? Hello. It is Pixabarters here, and welcome back to Ace Attorney Investigations 2 for the last time. <laughs> when we left off, Simon, he's being a little tricky dicky, and he's trying to get away with things. He had a little fake breakdown on us, but little did he know. We have a gumshoe. He said psych. And he's coming in. We and have he's a like, gumshoe. I, got a <laughs> I have a gumshoe. <laughs> and gumshoe's going to come and save the day uh, and be uh, the greatest hero Simon's of Ace like, Attorney I ever. have an army of animals. We have a gumshoe. We have a gumshoe. <laughs> he is an animal. <laughs> he has he's, the brain of an animal. Gumshoe <laughs> is a, our Hulk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have a gumshoe. Detective Gumshoe, your report, please. I did a quick investigation, sir. About the warehouse John was at. The music! Oh. The music was like... Arr! The cat's like, uh-oh. Oh my god. The refrigerated warehouse is currently being rented by... The very oh. big circus, just as Mr. Edgeworth said. <laughs> He's like, oh, that's great. So it's finally here. Our trump card. Well done, Detective Gumshoe. Now then, Mr. Keys. Does he not get a pay raise yet? <laughs> there must be some kind of mistake. Maybe it's just something to do with the circus. I see. Indeed, we are not well informed with the affairs of the circus. In that case, why don't we get your boss's opinion on this? Yeah. Regina? <laughs> <laughs> we are renting a refrigerated warehouse to store the animals' food, but I don't know much about the place. After all, I let Simon handle everything. N curse you! Simon, how scary! He is terrifying. What a shame. It seems your desperate actions after the crime were in vain. If the body was found in the warehouse, suspicion would have fallen on you, the one in charge. That's why he specifically moved the body back to the Grand Tower, wasn't it? <sighs> However, us finding John confined at the warehouse was a fatal mistake on your part. A resident great thief and detective were both rather exemplary. <laughs> What's wrong? I can even tell through your face paint that you're looking pale. <laughs> it's not over yet, Mr. Edgeworth. Your logic is missing the most important piece of evidence. Oh, please do tell. Is it obvious? Evidence that I killed the body double with the balloon. You can't present it, can you? After all, there's no way such evidence could possibly exist. The evidence... It exists. What'd you say? <laughs> if Mr. Keys murdered the victim, traces of the murder should still remain here. Uh. Um, I mean, would it be on the balloon? On the bottom of the balloon? Oh, maybe. Because my thought is, is that I know we looked at it earlier and there was the bullet hole on it, but, like, you'd think if he crushed him and the flowers got crushed with there'd the residue be, on there, pollen. that there would be that yeah. flowers. I'm going to go, mm, please, please. <laughs> it should become clear once we examine the basket of this balloon. <laughs> the balloon again. Didn't you already find the bullet hole? There's no way you'll find anything else there. That's... It, it'll be fine. Right, Mr. Edgeworth? Mr. Edgeworth is a hero who always finds the truth no matter what he's up against. That's right, pal. Of course it's gonna be fine. Mr. Edgeworth has gotten out of more impossible situations than I can count. Miles, I believe in you too. Want a hug? <laughs> but more importantly, I'm sure your old man's watching over your your old man watching over you believes in you as well. Aww. I'm watching right now over your shoulder, son. <laughs> I believe in you. Don't <laughs> fuck this up. <laughs> My assets first. Calm down and zinc. You're just one step away from the perfect proof. If you mess up, that's the Von Karma in you, okay? It's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> the bio double was killed by this balloon. The proof lies in the traces left on the basket. Simon Keys, it's time for you to atone for your crimes. I'll see you with my own eyes. The moment this past case is settled once and for all. Please, Prosecutor Edgeworth, deliver the final blow to this unforgivable person. This is the final piece of evidence that proves your crimes. My traces are left on the balloon that crushed the victim. Don't we have the flowers evidence? Yes, we do. Where is it at? Boom. Boom. The bouquet. When John found the body, a bouquet of lion lilies was there as well. Lion lilies? The flowers from Zeng father represent the bond between parent and child. That's your evidence? Surely he then must be buried under a mound of garbage by now. 
Moreover, the one who threw it away was John himself. That's not what you have a bot now, is it? Uh, that language and flower stuff has nothing to do with this. Calm down, John. Certainly you may have thrown the flowers away. However, I believe those emotions remain as strong as ever. Those bonds will surely protect you from that man in the form of my final piece of evidence. What the heck are you talking about? <laughs> Those flowers were crushed. Arrogant must have come into contact with the murder weapon. Perhaps we'll find the very same pollen still stuck to the basket of your balloon. No way, no way, no way. No. You guys gave me the basket just a few moments ago. If there had been any yellow pollen stuck on there, wouldn't you have noticed it then? It's us. <laughs> it's like I was looking for a bullet hole. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Key's evidence is not restricted to what you can see with the naked eye. That too. What? Emma. On it. <laughs> yes. Would you perform one yes. more scientific investigation for us? Leave it to me. The balloon's basket, right? Don't make me. Don't make me do it. Don't. Don't oh, make no, me do it. Oh no! Not the whoosh. Okay. Okay. Ah, reaction. She did it on her own. <laughs> oh god. Whooshing is gone. This is clearly pollen from a yellow flower. We'll find out soon enough whether or not it's from the same flower. What? what? Science, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> I'd say this proves that. The body double's death was caused directly by your own hand. No way! That's... That can't be... I... You crushed the body double to death on the roof of the tower. Then you retrieved the body and hid in the warehouse. Why did he have to go to the trouble of retrieving the body? Two nights ago, he knew that a separate incident would occur at the sa at the tower. At that. Yep. Ah, uh, Miss Cranes. Precisely, leaving the body there would have disrupted his plans. I see. But even so, he couldn't leave the body at the circus warehouse either. Exactly. So the next day, when he was bringing the body back to the tower once again, he saw the small fire John star, which caused the Mozilla head to fall. Was that when the idea came to you? Your plan to pin the crime on John? Gah. You made it look like the murder weapon was the fallen head. Such foul, cowardly behavior. For that reason, you carried the double's body in the balloon and lowered it into the film lot. At that time, the figure of the body double being lowered down by a rope. So that's why I was I was wondering if they were going oh. to... I wonder if we're going to talk about the fact that like, I thought the body double was standing in the shadows before, but I guess if he's yeah. being lowered down, that makes oh, sense. Oh, that's, that's... It was captioned John's recording. That's morbid. Yeah, <laughs> I don't like that. Damn, it was tall. You saw it through it all? Damn it. Damn you. You manipulated animals, you manipulated people, and you manipulated cases. Almost as if you were a king. However, it's now all come to an end. One big game of chess. <laughs> Simon, the animals have gotten angry. Even money and a steak. You never thought of them as your friends at all. How sad. Oh, they're oh, mad, goodness. yeah. D damn it. Don't you look at me with those eyes. That tiger's going to eat your <laughs> face. <laughs> he will eat you. He's hungry. <laughs> it's about time you went back to being a mere clown. <laughs> oh, wait. You already are. <laughs> <laughs> a fitting end to your... Pitiful jester's act. Ooh. <laughs> Stay away. Get away from me. Stop it. Please stop it. Oh, boy. Daddy, help me. I'm scared. I'm so scared. I don't know anything. I didn't do anything bad. They were the bad ones, weren't they? Horace, why? Why did you stop me? They hadn't done that. I... I couldn't even trust the police. Nobody would help me. Ooh. But that man, back then, he saved me. The only people who helped me was Doggin. So I used everyone else. What's wrong with that? Just stop it. Don't come any closer. Stop. Oh my I god. I. The cat ah. just ninja kicked no. him. Oh my god. No. Oh, 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 oh. Please. No more. Oh my god. The <laughs> elephant just grabbed him. That is the greatest thing of all time. Did the animals just f beat the fuck out of yes, him? Yes, they did. I'm, I'm guessing that might be Dogen. I don't know. It seems the game is finally over. 
Oh, shell. No, it's chili. Game is finally over. Oh, I should have predicted the that. The game is finally over. <laughs> oh, this game is finally over. Would you like some ice cream? <laughs> ice cream? He has the ice cream. It's Baskin too. Robbins. <laughs> <laughs> they have a 30 second flavor. Revenge. <laughs> <laughs> Shelly the killer. <laughs> it's Baskin Robbins. Here's the Robin. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> I've killed you. Uh oh. <laughs> I must thank you. <laughs> You've exposed the oh. tridentity of the mastermind. <laughs> it's Baskin Robbins. Now, I am free to. <laughs> kill this man. What? Drawing a gun would be most inadvisable. Stay where you are and do not move. D I, I don't have a gun. You do have a gun, do you not? You intend to draw and fire without anyone noticing. This is taking it from the body double when he killed him. This man has betrayed his bond of trust with me. Oh! He would have me kill the president by knowing full well that he was the body double. Oh! Lying about a target is an extremely dangerous thing to do to an assassin. Not having all the cards on the table can seriously jeopardize an assassination. No. However, what is even more unforgivable is your deception in your attempt to manipulate me. Ooh. The time has come for your retribution. Stop. Oh boy. Whoa. Oh. You, you are. It has been far too long, Shelly. This is awesome! Please step aside. That man is my prey. Two assassins. I must ask you to spare his life. Please permit this young acolyte to receive his proper punishment in prison. Whoa. <laughs> I mean, he's just like, Ooh. I know, yeah, look at his face. <laughs> and if I refuse? This is the first life I have saved. I'm not allowed to be taken away so easily. You saved a life. The assassin Sir Dogen. <laughs> Ironic, is it not? That I, the one who has taken countless lives, am making a plea for this young one's life. He saved my life just as I saved his. Before I knew it, I grew quite fond of the lad. You may laugh at me as much as you wish. However, I must ask that you spare the life of the boy. From an assassin to another. Please make this allowance. I understand if you're willing to go that far. You have my thanks. I'm in your debt. Everyone's just like, holy shit. <laughs> no need for thanks. I simply felt there would be no merit in a fight to the death with you. That is all. And with that, I must take my leave. He's just gone. Damn it! Wait! <laughs> Prosecutor Edgeworth, I must thank you as well. It was necessary for this young act like to be put in his place. And that you have done. Now then, it's time for me to return to my humble cage surrounded by iron bars. With him. <laughs> right, Anubis? Right, boy. Oh, you do. No? Look who's here. Hey, priest guy! <laughs> Fucking Christ. Oh my god. Because <laughs> the beads and all. <laughs> Yeah. You killed my dad, right? Indeed. Oh, well, that's wrong, wrong, wrong assassin. assassin. <laughs> Indeed. I am not one to forget those I have slain. <laughs> I see. You must despise me, boy with horns. In that case. Uh, it's a John! Do not panic. I simply lent the boy with horns my knife. Take that knife and run it through my throat. Uh. A single stab should do it. I've long grown weary of my wooden carvings. <laughs> Revenge. To John, don't do it. John, please, I beg of you. Until just now, I had intended to seek revenge. No matter how many years it took. Revenge? 
Revenge is good, really good. <laughs> Will you shut up? All your pain and suffering slips away. Everything becomes numb and you feel nothing. Yeah, you may be right. I thought about that while I listened to what you had to say. John? But the only one who would be satisfied with revenge would be myself, right? If I became a murderer, my mom would go through even more pain and suffering. My friends from the movie, too? And all those people who care about me as well. <laughs> the boy with horns says some interesting things. That's right. I finally get it now. I'll never forgive you, but I'm not the one who should punish you. After all, isn't that what my mom and that prosecutor guy are here for? Me? <laughs> John. John! You just said some really profound stuff just now. Okay, perhaps you should study up a little more yourself. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> Is that so? Well then, young one, it is time for us to depart. But where to? Prison, you idiot. To prison, of course. That place will be our home. Our home? <laughs> this Dad? Guy, <laughs> Dad? <laughs> Do I look like... <laughs> Ace, of, Ace Attorney Investigations 2, The Journey for Dads. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, the case that involved and affected so many people came to a close. For real, there were a lot of dad things. <laughs> However, there was still one last thing I had to do. Pray to the goddess of law. <laughs> Hey, um, remember that part where I quit? I'm really <laughs> regretting that right now, actually. I have a, I have rent to pay, and I don't have a job anymore, so... <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, sorry to keep you waiting. Why'd you call Uncle Ray and the rest of us out here? Mr. Edgeworth. The formal proceedings have just come to a close. Huh? What are you talking about? This is the place where I once relinquished my prosecutor's badge. This is your prosecutor's badge. Prosecutor Edgeworth, what is the meaning of this? Consider this my resignation. I am no longer a prosecutor. In order to save me when I was suffering from memory loss, you... A certain man once said, The only ally a defendant has is their attorney. By trusting in their client, an attorney draws closure to the truth. The sight of that man still shines brightly in my eyes. Brilliantly. <laughs> Just as the image of my father fighting in court does. Gregory. However, this is nothing more than that man in my father's way of life. You're talking about your boyfriend? <laughs> it is not mine. <laughs> not your boyfriend. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> <laughs> I think I shall live as a prosecutor after all. I see. Uh, you've made your decision. I'm sorry. He just no. wants to be with his boyfriend more, it's fine. <laughs> no, no, I understand. That's your answer, isn't it? <laughs> it is. Yeah. Okay, then that's the end of this conversation. <laughs> Don't regret it. Even if you beg me later, I won't let you work for me ever again. I, I, I understand. <laughs> Even though it's in my name, kind of. But, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> but you know, Miles, mind if I ask why you chose to live as a prosecutor? Because they can only go on dates in the courtroom. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Shields, you asked me this before. To fight crime as a prosecutor or to save people as a defense attorney. I want you to think carefully about how you want to live your life from now on. I've thought long and hard about that question ever since. How should I live my life? And after this case concluded, I finally found my answer. I want to save people as a prosecutor. As a prosecutor? Simon Keyes. He too was a victim. Yeah. He lost a parent in a past murder, and with it the ability to believe in anything else. I too know that feeling. The feeling of losing what's important to you, and being unable to believe in anything. I doubted everything during my lonely battles in, the, in those days. All I can hope to do is get every defendant declared guilty. Oh, man, those good old days just, I'm just gonna win. Yeah. <laughs> the one who saved me was... 
your boyfriend. <laughs> it's. I mean, I know that they like change it because they want to assume just in case someone gets these games without having played the Phoenix Wright games, so they don't get confused. Yeah. But you can say his name. I you don't know, have to be right? like that, that man. man. <laughs> this is just this is just advertising for those that are like. Listen, if or, you bought this game and didn't play Phoenix Wright, we're just gonna make you think like, real quickly about what like this is. A certain defense attorney. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Keyes must have been all alone. Not able to find salvation from the law, he had no choice but to turn his hand to revenge. And I suppose you never thought to seek help from the police? Hey, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait. Since Blaze was around, any evidence would be destroyed by him. Actually, didn't this something like that almost happen today during Patricia's trial? I want to save those like Simon Keyes. So how would you save him? <laughs> I'm sure this tragedy could have been avoided if only he could have relieved... Could Relied. have relied on the courts. Yeah. But instead, he was cornered by Blaze de Best to use the power of law for evil. The form of law can change depending on who wields it. It can be at once a shield to protect and a blade to harm. That too is a contradiction of the law. A contradiction, huh? That's true. It sure is a contradiction of the law. The way the law is right now, it isn't always completely right. The only way to right those contradictions is by joining in the court system. The one who could have saved Simon Keys was not an attorney, but rather a watchman of the law, a prosecutor. I shall face the contradictions in the law as a prosecutor. Huh. I don't get it, but okay. Yeah. I see. That's just like you. But you know, it'll be tough. It won't just be a walk in the park. It'll be going up against the law itself. You do realize that, right? <laughs> I do. However, someone must. Yep, yep. Not great believes in you, too. <laughs> the law evolves and grows, just like all of us do. I'm sure you can pull it off. After all, you're Gregory's son. Aww. Your old man would never give up, no matter what. His eyes always saw only what laid straight ahead. Miles. When you chose to live as a prosecutor, your eyes look just like your father's. It looks like you've grown up a bit. And I really wish your old man could see you now. Thank you very much, Mr. Shields. Aww. So then, Prosecutor Edgeworth, allow me to formally return this to you. Please do. Post haste, right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's mine. I just see Courtney. Calm down, please. <laughs> As a member of the PIC, do hereby return to Miles Edgeworth the rights and privileges of a prosecutor in the name of the goddess of law. Thank you. <laughs> and with that, Prosecutor Edgeworth is revived! That's great, sir! So then, Prosecutor it's like Edgeworth. It's the phoenix down in, 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 in Final Fantasy. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so then, Prosecutor Edgeworth. It's time for Uncle Ray to make his exit. After a report to your old man all about the traitor and the Edgeworth family. So <sighs> Kay was buffering for a <laughs> yeah. second in 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 you okay? shutting down. <laughs> I guess that knock on your head did a little more damage than we thought. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no! <laughs> Thank you for everything. <laughs> Truly. Next time we meet just might be in the courtroom. I hope you'll be ready. Uncle Ray might not look it, but he's an ace attorney after all. He's like, you're not my <laughs> ace attorney. <laughs> I'll look forward to seeing the attorney my father trained in action. Ah, uh, he did Take the care. anime wave. Did, where you, did, where you did, don't did, look did. back, but you yeah. <laughs> Prosecutor Edgeworth, welcome back. Judge Courtney, I must give my thanks to you as well. To me? You sought to fix the corruption within the PIC from the inside. That must truly have been a lonely battle. No, it was not, for I was never alone. Because the goddess of law is always by your side, right? No, Sebastian. <laughs> you made me realize that one could fight in such a way. The prosecutor's office, no, the entire legal world is caught up in this contradiction. If that cannot be set right, there is a truth that will never set... A, there is a truth that will never see the light of day. It was only through your help that I was able to find this new path. One that fights against the contradictions in the law. I too find that promising, as one in the service of the goddess of law. 
You shall certainly succeed in helping the law grow. Let us meet again in the courtroom. Yes. I must apologize for my shameful acts during the trial two days ago. Next time I shall fulfill my duties as a judge perfectly. Your Honor, I do not intend to speak regarding your ideals. Prosecutor Edgeworth? However, the greatest judge I know is when we're flowing with humanity, and he's bald. <laughs> And I think Canadian. His brother is at least, so His he should is. be. <laughs> you would think. You would think. Is one overflowing with humanity. Even during a trial, that judge experiences happiness, anger, sadness, and joy. That is our, yeah, our judge does feel that. <laughs> but nevertheless, always hands down the correct verdict in the end. It's difficult to say. But sometimes I feel that perfection is not always correct. Hey! <laughs> so a judge too has the right to behave in such a manner thank you very much prosecutor Edgeworth you and I pursued and fought against Blaze the best the goddess of law was not the only one by my side oh how ah it's John when I have this cut out with me I feel a strange sense of courage well up from within no matter how painful things became no matter how strong the foe, when I remember that I am no not alone, I'm able to keep moving forward. Wrongs must be put right, for John's sake as well. John too lost his father in a past crime. That is more important to me than ever the than even the words of the goddess of law. Ha! <laughs> Though I'm sure the goddess would be angered by those words. <laughs> Your bond with your son is the secret to your strength, I imagine. I don't have to be perfect. I just want to grow little by little. Both as a judge and as a mother. That is how I feel. <laughs> Seems there's much each of us has yet to learn. Agreed. We are still but children before the world. Let us grow in our respective paths until we meet again. I shall look forward to that reunion. May the blessings of the Goddess of Law be upon you as you follow your new path. Aww. Hugs. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye, mom friend. Though I once lost my position as prosecutor, I have now reclaimed it. So that I may tread a new path as a prosecutor. I shall surely reach the truth waiting at the end of this path. No matter how difficult the path may be, if any seek to stop me on my path, they shall receive no mercy. No matter who they may be, I shall just shout just one word. Objection! What? No Sebastian at the end? Come on! <laughs> no, he's already had his arc. He's done. But he's, he's got he's got new trials. Oh wait! Oh, always the backstory stuff. Actually, this is just a flashback, isn't it? Yeah. It's just flashbacks. Oh wait. Chief, <laughs> what sort of scoop are you aiming for next? Hey, ain't you a journalist? There ain't nothing more important than information. Ain't nothing. <laughs> you may be my apprentice, but you're still my business rival. I ain't gonna tell you everything. Look, that's my mentor, all right. I reckon you're even more prepared than me. I understand. I'll get my information using my own two feet. Yeah, that's the spirit. By the way, would you mind me asking what sort of scoop you're aiming for next? Christ. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Ch Chief. Ain't no need to be stingy. I'm your mentor after all. Th that's just heinous. <laughs> Good lord. They are. They're, they're a mess and a half. <laughs> yeah, they are. Oh, God. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny, but it was. Oh. <laughs> oh, damn. Uh, dude. Don't worry. It's just ice cream. Just some chai's topping, it seems. <laughs> But the wound on my left arm has yet to heal. What's taking so long? By the God who inflicted this wound upon me. <laughs> he is a name I will never forget. <laughs> now then, shall I turn to being a simple ice cream salesman? Perhaps this time I shall try being a crepe salesman instead. For now, I shall live a calm life <laughs> until my services are required once more. Okay. Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> Um, don't say that. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> oh, oh, that guy. Oh. 
I might have been knocked out once by that prosecutor named Edgeworth. Wow, you really nailed it. <laughs> but I'll keep on trying to escape. Won't let that tape if I want the tape of my fighting spirit. Ain't that right, Rocky? Come on. The gong of sound of my next escape will ring out soon enough. Until then, let's keep working out. Well, wow, you fell right back into I did. that voice. <laughs> it took you no time at all. It really didn't. And it's been how long? A long time. Oh, crap. I don't remember his uh, voice. It's just annoying. <laughs> yeah. I keep inquiring into my studies to become a pet groomer. Accurate. I'm working as hard as ever. I spend every day covered in mud. Perhaps this suits my true nature far better than the life of a newspaper salesman. Once I leave the prison, I hope they're an honest wage and a pet dreamer as a pet dreamer. Oh god. Huh? My sense has been extended? Because of Warden Roland's accomplice? Uh. Oh boy, there it goes. What do you think I've been trying to give a rat test about these stupid animals' well beings? <laughs> the hell with the pet trimmer license. Damn it! Jesus. <laughs> Dude, you were a murderer! <laughs> Does that mean he was, uh, he uh. had, he had a set, well, I guess, yeah, he, I guess he didn't, you know. Regina. Well, oh, she's so cute. Mm. <laughs> Regina was really shocked with the truth about Simon too. I mean, I trusted him as my subordinate. But there's no use fretting over it. The show must go on. I have to do my best so that I won't lose to, lo lose to the magical ventriloquist division. Mm. I'll put on the greatest performance ever, one that'll blow away the something. The entire case. Okay. <laughs> I said division with a question mark because I wasn't sure if that was the word or not. Yeah. Because it, it disappeared. Yeah. And I was like, did I see division? Oh boy. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It seems I've grown soft in my old age. Right, Anubis? Right, boy? Oh, you don't you. To think the life I saved on a whim 18 years ago would drive me to such lengths. Thanks to that, I am confined to my humble cell once more. You seem to like it in here. Well, this time that child is here as well. Perhaps it won't be such a bore. Right, boy? Are you talking to the dog or your new son? <laughs> <laughs> It'd be amazing if they just shared a cell. Aww. Oh, well, are, you, are we singing? Today dessert is chocolate cake. Oh, God. That great, gently melting moment of allure. I will wait for you forever, Kate. <laughs> I shall come here every day just as you and Raven did for me. He's, they're not singing anymore. Must your shields prosecute their answers? I am truly grateful to them. I cannot believe I am able to eat your desserts once more. Must your master. <laughs> I have been allowed to distribute my treats in both the visitor center and the prison. Aw, that's nice. For the past 18 years, I have brought the joy to one and all with my delicious sweets. Why do you keep singing? That's just what I do with him. <laughs> it's just what I yes, do. Yes, and it's always annoyed me. I'm sorry. I'm a stickler for details. He wasn't singer. Bah. Oh, boy. Uh oh Boy! <laughs> <laughs> yes, he! Thanks for everything, boys! Of course. I owe Greggy my thanks to you. After all, I get to stuff myself with the Je Jeffy's delicious dessert once again. Oh, and next time maybe I'll use one of Jeffy's sweets to create a new drug. Um. <laughs> the tuck in diet. You'll tuck in your stomach while you tuck in the desserts. <laughs> It'll be delicious and slimming and also good for your health. Give it to me now. <laughs> Please. No. <laughs> I want. Oh boy. Hmm. <laughs> Man, I'm glad I got to meet this guy so many beauties. Uh, <laughs> that but face! Maybe they caught a glimpse of my beauty sketch. Oh, your girlfriend. She had a misunderstanding and clobbered me in the face with my sketchbook. Oh my god. She thought you so were cheating. So exchange for my sketch of beauties, I had one beauty walk out on me. Maybe it's time for me to start getting more serious about my life. Wow. Do I take the path of an artist or do I follow the path of my heart? What's your heart say? Oh, and by heart, I mean the heart of my new lady. Oh. Oh, God. I should have expected the <laughs> personal growth. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> hey, per wow. Personal growth, guys. <gasps> hey. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Mr. Bed, thanks for all your help today. Hmm. I'll testify about the IS-7 as much as you need me to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Prosecutor Edgeworth. 
Seems pretty active too. Yeah, let me tell you what. <laughs> he chose not to take the same path as Gregory, but rather to live as a prosecutor. Well, I am kind of sad that I won't get to work with him, but I'll continue to watch over him. <laughs> it looks like you've grown up quite a bit yourself, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy. Mr. Bat actually praised me. Aww. You ever need a hand from Attorney Raven Shields? Give me a call. Anytime. Any place. Yeah, they've known each other for a long time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My crimes were punished for more, far more leniency than I expected. Once it was proven that I had been threatened. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> no crime is more heavy or light than any other. <laughs> I'm sorry. Of course, I regret what I did. However... I'm so glad I can still be together with you, Granny. Aww. Hello, hello. Huh? You want to hurry back to work? <laughs> That's right. The next corpse is waiting for us, after all. Uh, <laughs> We're going to have a party with it. <laughs> um, uh, I brought some balloons, some confetti. <laughs> I'm glad that my scientific investigation came in handy this time around as well. Good thing I rushed back here all the way from Europe. <laughs> and now I have to leave again. Aw. That kind of takes the fire out of a girl, as you can imagine. <laughs> but this is also that I can become an actual forensic scientist. So then, I guess it's time to go. Uh, if anything comes up, be sure to call me right away. The second I get the word, I'll dash right over. Across the ocean. Um, you probably need a plane for that. <laughs> <laughs> I will run. <laughs> Localizers, thank you all the people that yes. make this possible. For real, thank you. It's her. The greater the father, the greater the expectations are for their children. You would know. <laughs> <laughs> Prosecutor the best, was it? His way of life shall be tested henceforth. Just as mine was. Miles Edgeworth chose to live a different life from his father as a prosecutor. I suppose that too is an answer. <laughs> I don't want. Just the best is like, so, um, He's can like, I join the Edgeworth yeah. Law Offices, oh. Mr. Shields? <laughs> <laughs> Even. <laughs> you were nice to me. You, you were the only one that was oh. nice to me. <laughs> <gasps> my boy! I could never have imagined the truth that my old man was hiding. Unlike me, my own, who only thought about the Lang clan. My old man was trying to protect an entire nation. But I swear to you all that I will carry on his will. Yeah. Even if the president was a fake and the real one was murdered. Yeah. I will be the new president. I swear that I, yeah. together with my men, <laughs> shall revive Zhang Fa. Uh. Someday I will surely show you all a Zhang Fa bring with life. Yeah. Uh, are you a president now? I know, right? Is <laughs> <laughs> That'd be dope. <laughs> president Lang? Because <laughs> they need a new president. Yeah. Oh, he's going to eat the words. Oh. <laughs> oh, boy. Ah, oh boy. I asked everyone to stop calling me the best. Wow. Personal growth, huh? Oh. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> it makes me feel like I'm just borrowing Pops' power. That's true. Oh, the little... I shall study even harder <laughs> than before and triumph over Pops. You go. You I'll become go, strong boy. enough so that I won't even lose to Mr. Edgeworth. Ooh, mm. good luck with now that. Now then, <laughs> let's start by thinking of my new nickname. What is it? Oh, no. <laughs> It'll always remain a mystery. We have to think up his new we nickname We will never for know. Him. <laughs> oh, yeah. A lot has happened, but thankfully the film was a roaring success. The gossip articles about the murder made our movie the talk of the country. A monstrous man appears from the mighty Mozilla. This is the true. This is the true face of the monster who murdered the president of Zhang Fa. Huh? Is that you in the photo, Mr. Powers? Uh, how could something like this happen? Not again. Oh no! Now, now it's fine, isn't it? It's thanks to those articles that our film is a big hit. And now everyone thinks I'm a murderer. Again. Uh, but much obliged. Oh, <laughs> Just that great. sad smile. That's my luck. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
John, I greatly enjoyed watching your movie. Uh, it's no big deal. It's not like I had a major role or anything. <laughs> <laughs> so soon, Dre. <laughs> yeah. What are you saying? You played the key character who connects Mozilla with Gaw and Gordy. There's no one else besides you who could have played the part. Y yeah, I guess. Well, it would be nice if there's a sequel. I really enjoyed working as an actor. Mom, before we head home, can we go buy something? McDonald's? <laughs> I'd like to decorate our home with a lion lily for Dad. Oh, And one will not suffice. You'll need two more. One for me and one for Amy. Oh, It's adorable. It is, because of the whole, like, parent thing. Thank you, supporters. Thank you for yeah. making this possible for us to play. For real. Otherwise, this we wouldn't have been able to experience uh, it. Whoop, 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 whoop. And now it's come down to the main three. Well, we're back here again, huh? <laughs> well, we were really busy with all those cases, won't we, sir? Indeed we were. Why did all these incidents happen in such quick succession? It's almost like we were in a game. <laughs> it, I feel like things are always busy whenever I'm around. To be fair, has it been like between investigations one and two, it's been like less than two weeks? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's just, they're it's, like, woo. It's like, God damn, we're busy, pal. <laughs> It feels like it's been months. Like it's definitely been it's been <laughs> less than a month between two games. Oh yeah, it's only been like a couple yeah, weeks. Yeah, that's what I'm mm. saying. Like, jeez, I already said that. Okay, wait, okay. Wouldn't that mean you're a magnificent crimes? Hey, Gummy, that was rude. I do get the impression that he's not entirely wrong. <laughs> so then, Kay, do you intend to resume your training to become a great thief? Hmm, I don't know. Uh, is something on your mind, pal? How should I put it? Until now, I've always been chasing after my father. So that it could become a great thief just like him. Like the previous Yadagorasu, I suppose. But watching you, Mr. Edgeworth, made me think. Maybe instead of chasing after my father, I should find my own path. I mean, you didn't become a defense attorney either. Chasing after a parent's shadow isn't the only path in life for a child, after all. I'm going to aim to be a hero in my own way. That sounds good. But of course, that doesn't mean I'm going to throw away the name of the great thief Yadagorasu. No matter what sort of hero you become, K will always still be K. Thanks, Gummy. And Gummy will always be Gummy. Of course, pal. I plan to keep pushing forward on my path to a detective after all. Mr. Edgeworth, I look forward to continuing the work with you, sir. Yes, I'll be counting on you, Detective Gumshoe. Detective, you've saved me many times during these past he cases. He really has. You have my gratitude. How about a pay raise? I suggest you look forward to your next salary assessment. <gasps> huh? What? I... D does that mean what I think it means? What's wrong? I am saying your salary ought to be raised. <gasps> <laughs> really, sir? I can't believe it. Isn't that great, Gummy? It's like a dream come true. I can finally say goodbye to my instant noodle lifestyle. However, that does mi doesn't mean you can start slacking off. Yeah. The real work begins from here on out. You should prepare yourself. <gasps> yes, sir. Roger that. Oh. I'll devote my body and soul to following after you, Mr. Edgeworth. Oh. And then he dies. Oh he did devote his body and soul. <laughs> no! <laughs> the path Mr. Shields and Judge Courtney taught me is to take a stand against the contradictions in the law. And to reach the truth at the end of that road. In orange. What am I able to do? That is a question I must continue to dwell upon. Certainly this path will not be easy. However. Prosecutor Edgeworth. When I pursued and fought against Blaze the Best. The goddess of law was not the only one by my side. Ah, John! When I have this cut out with me, I feel a strange sense of call. Okay, I, <laughs> I know, we just yeah. did that. <laughs> <laughs> My accent went away. <laughs> when I remember that I'm not alone, I'm able to keep moving forward. <laughs> your bond with your son is the secret to your strength, I imagine. Bonds. Huh. Ah, I completely forgot! Jesus, you scared me. <laughs> that was sudden. What's wrong? His face! <laughs> I was searching for members for the new Yadagarasu team. 
Now that you mention it, I do remember you saying something that That's effect. That's right. But in the end, I wasn't even able to find a single person. Can you imagine it? A team combining your powers in order to steal the truth? I wanted to create an invincible team like that, but... What are you saying, pal? Don't you already have a team? Together, the three of us can solve any case that comes our way. Yeah, you're right. Oh, prosecutor, detective, and a great thief? We're the invincible trio of heroes that steals, captures, and pursues the truth. Hearing all that kind of makes me feel sorry for the truth. <laughs> Just overkill. <laughs> as long as the three of us are together, there's nothing to fear. Isn't that right, Mr. Edgeworth? Yes, you are correct. Even until his last moments, my father ran along his own path. I too shall advance along mine. Accompanied by my somewhat boisterous comrades. <laughs> as long as they are by my side, I can walk forward without hesitation. Then how come we never see Kay again? <laughs> On this new path as a prosecutor. Prosecutors and attorneys. The path I walk is not my father's. However, I am certain that the two paths are not separate. Though we may walk in opposite directions, our destination is the same. Why, you may ask? Because both paths lead to one and only truth. To the one and only truth. Wow, look at that. It's a nice little juxtaposition there. It is. Aww. Back to back, fighting the truth. The end. Whoa. Oh, the, the Ace Attorney series. Well, for the most part, yeah, there's the great Ace Attorney, which obviously the we're end playing of the tomorrow. The traditional but Ace Attorney series. Yeah, this is the end of modern times. You know, we're just going to be moving on to essentially prequels of sorts. Yeah. Super prequels. <laughs> yeah. But this is the end of modern Ace Attorney. No, no more Phoenix, even though he's been gone for a while. Yeah. No more Miles, no more we Gumshoe, got, we no more got, Emma. We got weaned off of <clears throat> Phoenix pretty much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he disappeared in the spirit, spirit of justice. It's not important anymore. Now but it's all about still. Miles, boy. But, yep. Everyone's going to be... It's uh, They're all in the past now until the next big strike game comes out at some point. Cop, cop. Like, there's no way they can't make another one ever <laughs> again, right? I'm sure they will. And I think, like, we talked about in some video. I don't know which one it was. It might have been a stream, even, or something where we talked about it. But with the success of the HD trilogy remake, mm -hmm. I mean, that's what got us really back into the series. Yeah and brought in a bunch of people through different platforms. I think with the success of that, Capron will probably go, oh, we should probably, uh, we should probably, you know, do something again. It's like, oh yeah, there's still <laughs> literal millions around the world that love this. <laughs> there's still so many loose ends. Still, there's the, the, when are Apollo and Trucy gonna find out the next time on Days of Our yeah, Lives? Days of Our Lives. <laughs> Like the sands of time in the hourglass. <laughs> well, this has been a fun experience. It has. And it is time tomorrow to move way back in the past, like a hundred years in the past. Whoa. And start to learn about kind of the, uh, the, the origins of the Ace Attorney by meeting. Like, like Assassin's Creed origins? <laughs> by meeting the great. Ace Attorney. Oh. And we'll do that tomorrow. Great grandfather Ace Attorney. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye.